Hello, my nerdy fucking Tolkien geeky fucking dorks. Let's play some of this game. We're gonna finish the game. What happened? It's been like three days for me. <laughs> what the hell happened? We seem to have con gained control of all of Gondor. The center of the map has got a nice little elven men corridor, which is very good. Green seems to have taken over the entire world. Purple has one territory left, which is great, and yellow has one territory left. So, oh, two territories, pardon me. So, we should try and make this happen. We should try and, what was I doing here? Building Rohirrim, that's right. What was I doing there? Oh, I have to protect this territory, that's right, because it's got the Elven Fortress, which is actually doing something. Um because I believe they lost Elrond over here. Was that what happened? Yes, that's right, that's that's right. It's all coming back to me. Um, we've got some troops there. Should we need to defend Umbur? I'm not sure I've ever played that map. Is this the map where you can't get there because you have to actually take ships? You can't actually walk around? Is that the map? Why have I never played that map? I hope I get attacked there. I'll play it and I'll see it. Um... Boromir, yeah, that's right. He had a big failure and lost a shitload of troops. Really important troops. Everything's under control here in Gondor. Faramir, I believe, is in Nuskilius. That's great. Count Andros is about to be overrun. But mind you... Oh, that this I see what we're doing here. Theoden is about to try and get into Fangorn, and assuming that 1, 2, 3 go into Isengard... You can see where that's going. Um, should I have had more archers? I guess not. Yeah, so hopefully these things will be deleted if we can win the Battle of Isengard. But anyway, to get back to the point, we've got one, two, so we're looking for Thranduil or Alron to be built in this fortress right now. Um, what are the elves doing here? Barracks there. What's that? What, what's happening? Ugh, so much stuff. Okay, so we're slowly building up a reserve force here. There's a lot of money tied up in this barracks. Um, slowly building more reserves there. This is empty. Oh, Amr is doing stuff. That's right, he's got a little Rohirrim. Is everybody nice and caught up now? I am. And he's going to wipe out this Isengard fortress. I remember everything now. And so we've got two purple heroes on the map. Three. Yeah, three. So that's right, we wiped out Drogoth. Um, we've got, in terms of green heroes, we've got one, two, three. Just three? One, two, three. Yeah, so that we've got, that's, that's great. I think we wiped out Lurtz down here, didn't we? That's what Aomer did. <laughs> and yellow, we've got one, two, which makes things super easy, although they do have a fortress, which is a problem. And for brown, there's one, two, three. So really, once the elves get their heroes back, we're in really good shape. Let's have a look at uh, territories. I'm in second place. Units, I'm vastly in first place. Um... Elves are average, just about exactly equal parity with some of the worst. Okay, so we're probably going to lose Caldros, and that's fine. I'd rather hold on to Athelion. Or would I? No, hang on, hang on, hang on. This, is, this one has the, uh, if I hold on to the entire territory of Gondor, um, which includes Caldros and not Athelion for some reason, um, that means I get a discount on building heroes, and I do want to build some heroes. In fact, I could build one, I could build a Gandalf right there, for 1500 not 3000 Maybe I should do that. But maybe I want, I actually want Gandalf to be in Isengard, that's what I want him to do. I want them to attack Isengard, and then I'm going to build Gandalf there, that was my plan, basically. There is a wizard here to deal with. Stock and stone, I can master. How's my tree beard? <laughs> 
So let's just fill up all our build queues and spend all our money. That's all good. And decide, that's right, Aragorn just fought that battle there. And we went backwards and forwards and wiped out some goblins. So Aragorn is ready to basically do a whole lot of real-time strategy battles. He's got the leadership bonus. He's about to get Elendil, the, um, the button you push where it makes all the enemy troops run away. So what I want to do is get around and wipe out this purple territory, thus eliminating the entire purple army. So why don't I edge my way around here? But it's so tricky, because in this turn right now, these two purple armies are going to go in some other direction and possibly, you know, get more territories. So there's no tidy way to do this, unfortunately. A better way to do it would be to leave him there on defense and bring Aomer up here to do the hook on the next turn and in the meantime hope that we can defend Lost Strand. <sighs> so Isengard can live for a little bit longer. Am I building a fortress there? I should be. Yes. Cool. Cool. Just for argument's sake I'm gonna put one troop there. Okie dokie. Damn. So we we can probably win this. Yep. Great, the Witch King buggered off. So we still have Gondor. Yeah, see? So this is going to be... Is this going to be green or purple? It might be green, because green is higher in the rankings. Yeah. Yeah. So... We still only have this one purple territory left to attack. Unless, of course, they now go for this one. Blah, 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 blah. So all we have to do is fight this battle in Isengard. Let's do it. Yes! So we've wiped off Saruman and the yellow Gothmog. Bye-bye. Gravy. <laughs> it's uh, put a fortress everywhere we go. Might as well. This is full now, so I'll put in the blacksmith to start upgrading them. Now, here it is. We come to it at last. The great battle of our time. Aomer is going to take a shitload of uh, Rohirrim into the Etten Wars. In the meantime, Aragorn, we're going to assume that they're not going to the territory he's in. We're going to assume that they're heading into Amon Sul. Therefore, we are going to defend Amon Sul with everything we got. Savvy? Elrond is back. Elrond is the one they built. These elves just have no troops at all, do they? Units, eight. <laughs> I tried, I really tried. So what's um, good old Theoden gonna do? There's nothing, he's, he can't hold against all of those, unfortunately, so we might as well move out of Fangorn. Maybe into Gapa Rohan, and that way we can do this hook maneuver again. And yep, continue building. You better come down to Osgilia. You know I wish that I had Jesse's girl. Da -da 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 -da. In other life news for Andy, Andrew, you can call me Andy if you like, I do. Um, I've been playing more bass guitar and I have learned everything in our set list in the band. I have to learn a hundred songs this week, so I'm down to the letter J. <laughs> Jesse's girl. Um, yeah, good. It's, it's alright. It's a little tough in the uh, switching between the D major down to B minor, so the relative minor sometimes throws me off on bass guitar. Anyway, blah blah blah, we did it! Yes! Goodbye, go goblins. Although, 
So we did that, yep, cool. We can give that territory to the elves. We need to win... We don't need to win this one, but we... It would be nice to. Like I said, there's a bit of an onslaught coming there. Ooh! Oh dear. Hmm, hang on. Okay, hi, we're back. I just had to pause there for other reasons. Now, where are we? We're gonna fight these two battles. This will be... <laughs> so what's happening here? This little force against this. We might have a problem. Ooh, this will be fun. Let's get one of those heroes out. How about that wizard? Not Gandalf. The other wizard. Back where it all started, eh? Remember, I think this is the first, uh, the first battle in this video series, in this, this game, this match. Um, Aragorn got his first three levels on this map, but ultimately was completely overrun. Things have changed now. Have they not? How did I spend all my money so quickly? <laughs> I might have to wait for that. Who needs something built? I love being asked that question. So I need to protect this building, don't I? Because it's actually in the map. And another thing I need to do is make sure we don't have the burning death of the berserkers. Good night. That went well. That was easy. It's just a flesh wound, eh? that out, but basically it's time to start getting those towers. And that wizard for 3,000 bucks. Oh, there's a discount with the banners, that's right. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go, 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 go! One more. Yes. What's that, Shaku? Yeah, more works. Level two, he's about to die.
How did they get over there? Oh shit. Those fucking berserkers. I'd better just send melee troops and not fire damage troops. Just pump these out. Yeah, so basically I'm just pumping out troops, and I'm going to assume that they'll surrender in 8 minutes. It might be a wild assumption. Because these troops will be upgraded once we get to the actual big map. Hmm, probably get an archery range. Oh, they're dead already. Tom, go for a walk. Break it down! Oh, we're out of space. Well, we are out of space. Oh, never mind. Okay, that was fine. So that's really how you can win when you play like this, is you can just go into real-time strategy, and if you can just hold it, for the 8 minute mark, or sometimes the 25 minute mark, or sometimes the 38 minute mark, you come away victorious without needing to actually go out of your base and crush them. Are you kidding? Purple got one more territory. Fuck. 
and I should have attacked that fortress because now Lurtz is back. <laughs> so these guys need to protect this this um, this territory again. I'd consider the Shire pretty well defended with these Rohirrim. Azog, two tra cave trolls, trave cult, three spider riders, and one half troll mortar. That is a really nasty little army, potent. So we're going to. Haldir is going to take Fornost. So, I don't know if you're familiar with this. I'm familiar with it from reading about the military exploits of Alexander the Great. <laughs> the hammer and anvil tactic. One one group of your army in. In those days it was the phalanx, the giant massive infantry with huge pikes. They are the anvil. They stand there with impenetrable pike, spiky, armored, you know, unmoving. And then the hammer is the cavalry and you swipe around the end, flank them, drive the enemy onto the anvil and between them you, you smash it under the hammer. In this case, what we're going to do, Haldi is going to try attack that. Gorfindel might not be able to do that, so we're going to try. We're going to try wipe these guys out of existence, and the way we do that is actually probably by doing. putting these troops there and hoping like hell that we don't need them, but if we do need them we can fight a battle there. Aragorn is going in, Aemer is helping, and so these guys should be surrounded. And we're just going to have to hope that Lurtz did not attack this fortress. Since we've got so many troops here we might send some over here just to help. Now, we're going to try this maneuver again, as always, try and get into Fangorn Forest to delete some of these armies, should they attack Isengard. Keep pumping that out, obviously. Probably actually move some of these now. How many? 360 command points. I'm terrible at math. <laughs> How many... Rohirrim at 80 command points each down the bottom right just here goes into 360. It's 4 plus a little remainder which we'll use at Trebuchet to fill up. Okay, um, let's make sure Boromir goes here and defends this territory at all costs. Yeah. These troops are going to be quite potent because they've been sitting here with this building in the territory, meaning they'll they'll all have the upgrade. So there's Black Orc hordes, um, Mama Kills, Haradrim, all upgraded. So the Witch King will probably pick some of those troops up on his way to invade us. So what we might do is bring in some of these troops from Anfalas over here to Belfalas, just to fill out this defensive potential a lot more. And we're going to crush these guys. Go, show me. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Bugger it. <laughs> it's really funny. It's the only possible way they could have escaped. And they did it. I didn't think they would do it. Yeah, this might be a problem. Maybe. Gorfindel's going to get himself deleted if he's not careful. Elrond looks like he's failed to take it. And Lurtz has picked up some troops. Oh, and a hero. This is going to work. This is great. We're going to wipe out two more armies here. Bye-bye. You're gone.
build another fortress. They never actually get built, but that's okay, we'll keep trying. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Move Theoden out of here, and invite them to come into Fangorn, and back into Isengard again. Invite that that uh, to happen over and over again. So we're just going to repay these troops back over here where they belong. Keep this production queue going. Yeah, Boron is full again. I'm... oof. We just wiped him out and now he's back and he's going to have these upgraded troops with him. So yeah, this is the problem. Um, how's this looking? Can that hold... Can that hold the line down here against that? I'd say the answer is no. So instead of putting these troops with Boromir, let's instead send one more down here. Uh, maybe we should put this back and give Boromir those. And yeah, now what I'm going to do is take the controversial step of deleting this fortress and we just need to pump out more troops. They ne it needs to happen quicker. So this battle would prob will probably be fought in real time this turn. It's maybe Boromir's arrival will make them retreat, but it's possible they'll both attack. Um, everything's under control up here. What are we going to do about the top? Those troops belonged back there, didn't they? Oh. This is full up, that's nice. So let's put those troops back and put these ones back where they belong. Let's move in here. And... Ah, oh, we really need to get on top of these freaking goblins, bro. So is it worth... Oh, here's a problem. Seven Wag Riders versus, and they're all going to be upgraded because look at this, armory building. So the person who needs to go into this territory and fight Shaku is Aragorn because he has the pikes, and Amos Rohirrim are not going to be very effective against Wags. So we might leave Aemo where he is, as annoying as that is. Should we do that? Should we try and hold on to four notes? Let's... no. The number one objective is eliminating purple. So they can have the fortress, they can take it back, it's all theirs. Now, how many troops did we have here? Plenty. Plenty, plenty. Since there's Saruman, we can spread them out just a little bit more down here. And we'll even take a trebuchet or two. So, let's do it. Yep, as I thought, Shaku with six Wag Riders and Pikes. What a nightmare that's going to be to fight. But we've got this one. I hate playing, like, playing chase. It's I'd really like to do that hammer and anvil thing. <laughs> what else happened? Oh I didn't I didn't expect that. That's annoying. I don't know why they tried that. Saruman against a fortress is not gonna work. One hero with no troops. And now that's a nice reminder that I need to reinforce that territory. What happened here? A battle. So, oh dear, Aemo is just going to have to, should we try and fight them? Ooh. 
or should we go around them? Let's go around. Yeah, so Aragorn's going to come here and hopefully these guys are going to attack here. Hopefully they will. The reason I think they will is because it's got something in the territory. It's got a defense bonus of 5%, whereas this territory, which is also neighboring, has nothing. And also this one, oh, I mean, it's possible. The point is, I want to get Aragorn to have a real-time strategy fight with Sharku's six Wark Riders. And if we can do that, we can defend one two, three, four territories, we can eliminate these. So in that case, I actually have to go straight at Azog and make sure that Azog doesn't come in the back here and give these guys somewhere to retreat to. So to that end, I'm going to commit that entire force of Rohirrim to this territory, which is kind of not worth much. put the building queue back into this territory. Okay, this is complicated, but we're getting there. What if we can spare more troops for down here? We can. So that one's now full. This one needs to be full. So why don't we just send the whole lot? Yeah. Now, pump out those bad boys. We're going to take this entire garrison out of Umbar. I don't want to protect it. I want to protect this one, Balthalas. And we need to have enough command points. So we have 200. Yes, so that's enough space. I'll leave those horses there because they're freaking useless. They've been doing nothing since the beginning of the game. I might as well delete them, but oh well. Um, Boromir has got an actual army that he can fight with, because it's got Athelians, so that's cool. I'll put the trebuchet there, just because trebuchets, I can afford them right now. And here we go, here we go. Once again, we can do this maneuver and hopefully get these armies deleted. He's got a lot of shit with him. So hopefully they both attack Isengard. Hmm. And there's another hero here. Create a hero. I just noticed that this is what I do. This is my thinking face. <laughs> Alright, we're going to finish this. We're going to finish this. So these two are nicely contained. They can't attack there, they can't attack here, they can't attack here, and they can't attack there. And Elrond is going to try and have another go at them, which is going to fail. And those guys in Rivendell, they fought like hell, didn't they? They're still just hanging out there. Um, and I've just decided I'm going to leave Aemir where he is, rather than actually attack. Okay, let's go. Yep, I called it. I called it, I called it. Perfect. Let's wipe them out here. Now let's wipe them out here. And now, oh dear. I can try. It's possible. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> I'm gonna get so wasted. <laughs> so we need I guess we need pikes, or do we need fortress upgrades? We probably need fortress upgrades. Arrow towers. No, we need boiling oil, is what we need. <laughs> no, hang on, we need all the low tier ones. So I could get that, or I could get those. Probably get that, and might as well get that. Uh, 
um, in the back here, I'll put up an arrow tower. And that's about all we can afford. <laughs> Good luck, guys. The little garrison I left behind. It's just a fortress. You guys are so dead. <laughs> Should we put up one of those buildings? Dormitory buildings and garrison that with arches? Maybe. Ugh, I want to build a farm immediately, but I do need some kind of firepower. They are going to attack like any second. This is such a disaster. <laughs> okay. Okay. There they are. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> No, now you need to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, those were nice archers that we had, wasn't it? Let's just focus down Shaku if we can. Stop him getting more levels, at least. So he's gone. Alright, so we're toast. This is alright. The important thing is we're actually going to weaken a couple of these um, units. And they won't be able to build more, so we'll, we'll probably... yeah. We tried. <laughs> oh shit, they're coming. And they ate his face. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Just go over here and die. It's funny, the front one wears armor and the other ones don't. <laughs> I have in the past spent hours defending that territory you know, doing a very slow build one tower, fill it with archers to create a defensive point and then build one tower a little bit in front of it and fill that with archers and then move, build another tower a little bit in front of it until I'd taken over the whole map. It took hours, but uh, that's that's kind of funny. That's all good. Fangorn and Isengard. We can win that. And now this is the question. This might actually have to be fought as a real battle. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's try and get a whole lot of farms. Um, a tower. A well. A heroic statue. Then some heroes. And then fill up the territory with command points. You know, fill up the command points with... With uh, more troops. What are they saying? Where I'm going with this? Where I go it is. So here's an interesting side note for you. All of my command groups are from the game Age of Empires, which I played back in the 90s. So command groups, back in Age of Empires 2, you could only fit 40 troops into every command troop, every command group. So I would have group 1, 2, and 3. They, uh, one and two would be infantry, two groups of infantry, group three would be cavalry, um, group four would be siege, and group five would be monks, which are healing. <laughs> so, like, it's weird, but now that those things, that I, I played the Age of Empires 2 especially, for just so intensively for years, when it was still the best game that existed, you know, this is before Rise of Nations was invented, which I also played a lot, and then this was invented... Um, 
And so those command groups from Age of Empires have really stuck in my brain, and now when I build shit and put it into command groups in any other game, I still use the same things. <laughs> so for me, cavalry is always number three, siege is always number four. <laughs> is that funny? Do you have things like that? Here. Let's put one archer up on the wall, and they can be grouped too. And three can just sort of hang out in the sides. Oh, here we go. Can stop there. Chuck down one of these in a second. Tell me well. Get these guys into the tower, and now we're away laughing. If you've. Is this the first time you've ever seen me defend Isengard? It is. This is how you defend Isengard. You put a tower there, and they send all their troops through the same door the entire time, and the tower, with two fire arrow Athelians, kills everything. Easy. You've got the market, so you've got a source of income on the inside. Easy. And these uh, tower guards, sit them right in the doorway, put them on the uh, defensive porcupine formation, and basically, nothing can come through that door. The hotkey for that is M, by the way. Know it. Use it. There we go. Anything that charges through that door is going to meet a fucking tower guardy. Um, end. So we should probably, right now, try and fill up the territory with more command points. It's a funny looking door, isn't it? Weird gatehouses on the side. So let's just, yeah, fill it up with tower guards. Because tower guards are cool, man. Yeah, Rohirrim are just ready for a run through if anything does come through the door. I could also send them out, but I don't want to do that. Just gonna turtle. And for safety's sake, I'm gonna move these arches. I'm going to diversify it in case one of these towers goes down. Put them into two different towers. And just for good luck, we're going to put more heroic statues in. I would like more ranges than we have. It's only three. It would be ideal to have five. And now we play the waiting game. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother upgrading new troops, I'm just going to let this blacksmith stay there and they'll get upgraded once we get back to the main map. Alright, this is getting a bit boring. Let's um, send the Rohirrim out. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Gold. Is anything happening? One more of those. One more of those. I think that's all we can fit. So if I really want to get this hero, I should do it now. can come down here and sit in one of these towers. Oh, we just don't have enough room, so we'll put these guys back. Yeah. Right, let's get the hero. Three thousand bucks. I want it. I, I want it. <laughs> okay, you can come back indoors now. And you can build one more well. No, don't. Don't. I saved them just in time from charging a fucking Easter Battalion. <laughs> okay, we can get our hero. Yeah, see, once the door is open, these towers can actually fire through the, almost like through the gate and, or over the wall or something. Easy peasy. Something's up with the AI here. They're not really moving towards me or anything. I mean, I assume you will play the game good enough to know what a heroic statue does and how essential it is to always fight next to a heroic statue or a, a uh, hero who has a leadership bonus because you get experience twice as fast and a 50% upgrade. So you, it's like having more troops. If you have two troops next to one of these bonuses, it's like having three troops. Um, and let's just try and get this guy some levels. And why did I... We've got room for another one. <laughs> oh. oh, well don't die. I mean, I do want you to go out and fight, but don't like die immediately. Kaboom! <laughs> Blizzard Blast, except it's not the powerful one yet. But you can take out those Haradrim for sure. Nice. Did you see how quickly <laughs> the slugs died when they ran into that wall of bikes right there? That's amusing. Yeah, this hero, he's got some HP, but he's hes definitely not uh, sort of a solo kind of guy. He gets overwhelmed pretty easily at these low levels. The low levels, anyway. When this gets upgraded to, what is it, 
superior, excellent wizard blast, then he's a bit more potent. But right now, at the low levels, he's a bit dumb. And I don't know if you've ever seen the, uh, you know, the points that you give your heroes, you know, power, armor, health, healing, vision. He's got so, such, such low stats. His only power comes from having these wizardy powers, not from having actually good stats. <laughs> Hopefully this gets him a level. Can we get this guy a level? Improved. We want this to be improved wizard blast. I think that's level four. I just realized I built the wrong wizard. I said I was going to build Gandalf. Dope. Doesn't do any damage. <laughs> yeah, I wanted it to be Gandalf, who lives in Isengard, as a kind of... Wow. You are so garbage. <laughs> if he dies, that's fine. We'll just build Gandalf. <laughs> Okay, let's get Gandalf. <laughs> oh, look who it is. That little knife of his. Is he... Is he doing anything? What's happening to Tom right now? Did you see that? He wasn't attacking Wormtongue. There was no HP being lost. You need to do some scouting for me, buddy. And have a look at their base. It's always in the same place on this map. It never moves. Um, should we get stable? Just cause? We could do that. When's, when do you mean to arrive, Gandalf? When when do you mean to arrive? That's why I have so many hit points to spare. Is that I lost those Rohirrim, so it's a good thing I'm building that stable. They must have run out the door sometime, and I wasn't watching. Whoops. Okay. Well, let's just do this, and we'll use that earthquake. <laughs> it's just fun. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, now I have to upgrade these if I want my Rohirrim to have to be able to actually fight right now. No, it did, that one. Our resources run low. Have you got this already? Why don't you just finish? <laughs> Golem? Oh dear. Come on Gandalf, let's get level 4. No! Don't tempt me, Frodo! <laughs> Are you joking?
Oh! Look who it is. And the ring is gone. So what we might do is just build a trebuchet, because that will fill up the, the remaining oh, command points. Oh well. Just focus him down. <laughs> it's a good thing, really, because through him, the ring would have wielded a power too great and terrible to imagine. <laughs> and goodbye, worm tongue. Goodbye, another goth mog. We keep destroying these goth mobs. <laughs> and who have we got here? Gandalf. I would say Isengard is well and truly secure now. So we can focus on pushing the border outwards into Fangorn. No. Better idea. Do that, do that again. Do it one more time. Now, what was I saying about the hammer and anvil? <sighs> Shaco and six. So I really didn't do any good by trying to fight here. <laughs> so let's just go straight at them and trust that if I send Aima here, it will stop them should they want to battle there. And yeah, not too much to worry about I guess. Elrond is trying that again. Again. Right, one, two, three, you can go there, plus a trebuchet. And we need more money. What have you got? You've got an actual army that you can fight with. Oh man, they, they keep spawning these heroes. I can't eliminate them fast enough. <sighs> I do need more troops before I push outwards. So I'd say that there's going to be a battle here, which would at this stage going to lose. So the question is, do I throw all these troops down there, including Boromir, to fight all of these heavily upgraded Mordor troops with the Witch King flying unit? Or do I just let it go and trust that we can defend Gondor the way we always have? I think we'll just let it go. And it's no big loss <laughs> for these Gondor battalion. <laughs> Let's just abandon it. Flee, flee for your lives. And so far, uh, I can put in, I can trickle some troops over there. Not too many, because I want to make sure this Osgiliath stays full. Okay, all our preparations are made. Did we decide? Yep, Aragorn's going to try and fight them gonna try and fight Shaku if we possibly can. Go. Ah. Yes. Yes. So we're slowly surrounding them. Ooh. Ooh dear. Eat tower guards. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Two for ten. Hell yeah. We might even keep this. How's that? Go 
three more if we've got them. No, we'll go two over there. And we'll go trebuchet. Boromir can send it two squares, so we'll send one over there. And put trebuchet in his thing, build another one. And yeah, keep keep pumping them out and we need to top up one over here who's in oh that's right uh, guys who defeated 5,000 enemies plus level 7 AON for some reason plus half upgraded Rohirrim plus two trebuchets all good and suddenly no one wants to attack Isengard anymore <laughs> so we can start filling up Fangorn with actual troops I think And that means Theoden is sort of free to start roaming around now. So why don't we try to get him to move over here, take out these two yellow territories. We have very good use of his time. Alright, just go straight at them, buddy. And you can... F no. Better idea. It's more likely... It's, it's very likely that Shaku is going to this territory because it has no defenses. So we're going to try and meet him there for battle. Like I said, Aragorn's the one with the uh, the pikes. And Aomer can cover the just in case that happens. In case Shaku goes straight at where Aragorn was. But I don't think that's likely. Also, this is pretty safe here because it's a full territory. Almost full of troops that can fight back. And we might take that away and go, yeah, no, Rohirrim was a good idea. And Elrond, um, and Rivend, oh, there's a fortress there as well. Um, these guys are just going to have to cope, and just, they're just going to have to, oh, here's a, Aragorn can get a trebuchet, and he can fit a trebuchet in his command points, and we'll build another one, if we have the money. Find the money somewhere. So, let, let's... Oh my gosh, they got all their heroes back. That damn fortress. Okay, go. Show me. Delete Shaku. Great, good, fine, all good. <laughs> all of this, all of Mordor is unleashed. <laughs> Three reinforcement flags. Yikes. Alright, let's fight it. Now we close in the noose. Sauron is tightening the noose. <sighs> There's nowhere for him to retreat. Yay, the elves are finally building shit again. It's about time. Probably we'll put these guys over here just to fill that up quicker. Let's go to the yellow territory and take it out. And now we have a problem. <laughs> um, who can we call in? Those two can go from Boromir over there. Now that the Cat Andros is full of defense, which is great. And if we take away the trebuchet, 
So we've got 400 plus another 400, so we've got about 800 command points. Um, and just because there's a risk of losing these buildings, we'll dial down the amount of money we've got sunk into them. Um, and you know what? Because our Skiliath can only be attacked by this one very weak guy, we're going to bring Faramir back. So hopefully all these Mordors are going to arrive and think twice. And think this is a bad idea. Right, let's get this Shaku. And now he's got somewhere to retreat. God damn it. Should have just stuck with the plan of eliminating purple. <laughs> Fight me. So we should probably put Faramir back. It's so annoying that Asgiliath only has 360 command points. It's like the capital city of Gondor, isn't it? So like, or it was. So, shouldn't it be like the biggest territory there is? Like, look at this one. This has 720, for God's sakes. One of the few. This one has 720 as well. So, we need to make room for another 150 command points of units. So, we need to move some troops. Yep, that's all good. And actually, I take it back. We'll put that fortress back on. <laughs> One more of those. Okay, now Rohan can start building troops for itself, for God's sakes, instead of everybody else. Now, how are we going to get over to this yellow territory? We're going to take the long way round. I'd say we're taking the long way round. Wow, how did he get so many good troops? Right. We'll go, Aemir will go over there, Aragorn's going to go up here and fight Azog once and for all. Here's a better idea, Aemir's going to go over here. Because I do not want to lose this Elven territory. One, two, oh, and Haldir has been doing some good work out there as well. Wiping out stuff in the background. It's going to take him a while to attack Fornost. I mean, Cardon. Alright. We're ready for another move? Go. You again. He swapped out his army composition. Three elves are coming to attack this territory. Let's do it. You are gonna flank them. This needs to have the blacksmith and No, this is a better idea. What if Ayama goes here and Wormtongue attacks somewhere else and gets deleted? Let's try that. Well that didn't work. Why did I do that? Because I didn't even see what happened down here. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't make any plans down here. You again. This is good. It's nice when the elves start garrisoning shit. But I'm guessing these troops are going to be picked up by someone else. You, sir, are done. Goblins are gone, so let's send an Aemir. Saruman, Wild Men of Dunland. Ugh, this is gonna get ugly. Thank God for Tower Guards. Nineteen thousand. Um, 
Oh yeah, I was supposed to wipe out yellow and I didn't do that last turn, so let's do it. Oh, it's Kelduin. It's that horrific map. <laughs> Easy peasy, mate. Show me purple gone. Purple gone. I have a feeling we're going to get our asses kicked here. Yeah, you brought something with you. Yay. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. Great. So that's the Isengard stronghold taken care of. Oh, we didn't actually lose them. Purple and yellow gone in one fell swoop. What else do we have to do? Oh, something else. Good luck. It's tower guards, bitch. <laughs> they take no damage. <laughs> the shields are thickin'. Uh, they sure have. They sure have. We sure did. Now for some reason I own the uh, Elven lands. <laughs> Um, all good. Let's just close in around them. Let's put in a force to protect. Three twenty five, we can even afford another tribuche. Well, it's it's almost anti-climax when we win this badly, so let's try attack Erebor and see how that goes. And let's actually, instead of a fortress, put in barracks. Um, yes, we're all good here. Everything just hanging out the same. Boromir can just stay there, level three, quite low level. Maybe you should even just attack something for the hell of it. Nah. <laughs> Let's just close down the north and then we'll focus over there. Ooh, here comes an attack. This is kind of weak actually, so it's going to be good to have the elves on that on 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 our team for that that battle. Maybe I should just weaken over here, Dunland, to reinforce this a little bit. Go. Perfect. I don't even need to do real-time strategy. Let's do it. Nope. You're not getting in. <laughs> Easy peasy, mate. We're on the road to victory here. We just need to start garrisoning these uh, fortresses and we're all hunky-dory. I'm not going to even attack Mirkwood, because look at that, all of those are going to be upgraded. So we'll go back this way. All of our territories are stacked full of troops. Um, so they're obviously going to attack this one. And obviously we should... This is the last legs, these troops, because of this armory building, they will be upgraded troops. Alerts for berserkers to our griders. I want to come over here and have a battle with Lurts, but this is a really shitty map to do an infantry battle on. There's so many weird corners and shit, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go over here with Aomer to do it auto-resolve, because he's got a slightly stronger force when it comes to auto-resolve, whereas this force is much more 
tuned to real time strategy. And what about this battle? We could fight there, Harlinden. Or I'd rather fight in the Tower Hills, to be honest. So maybe we can bring some troops around, reinforcements out of the Shire. And these ones. Oh, that's nice. These elves are actually garrisoning this territory. They're not um, stealing the troops away. Alright, Aragorn can go in. We'll hope that they don't actually attack Tower Hills. And what they might do is escape down here again, but that's okay. And what's happening down here? Don't forget to look down the bottom as well. We might see an attack on Ascilius. Okay, that's that's acceptable. So we're going to wipe out Saruman here. We can fight that battle and win. Oh, they'll just retreat. Nope. But we still win. And so green is almost gone. Gone burger. Yeah, we're fine. What happened here? Nothing. Oh, some Mordor. To Mummikill. Dagolad. Do I want to fight Mummikill on the fields of Dagolad? That's the map with all the swamps and shit. I think. What the hell happened? Where's my Athelian Ranger Battalion? Well, then definitely no. That's annoying. <laughs> really annoying because that was a five star unit for fuck's sake <laughs> these guys can come down you can go there you can move in for the kill and we can just hope like hell that this can be defended and that's it hammer and anvil. Shaku's got nothing left. Except three wag riders. Ah, and Thranduil did take those troops out of Lostrian, just as I said that. And of course Haldir is going to lose mightily over here. Should I go in? And then we've won, except for Minas Mogol. Let's do it. <laughs> it's nice when you put the siege machine, in this case trebuchet, into your army, because it just, just knocks down the defenses so quickly. getting stiff again. How long have I been at this? About an hour and a half or something? We're going on to the end. Oh, good timing. Goodbye alerts. <laughs> Strength of 10 does nothing against my tower guards. Nothing. Form up, Tower Guards! Beautiful. And green is gone from the west. Now they are near, over here in the east a little bit. And they've already started respawning, but that's okay.
and here we go marching over if we just need 600 command points we can put in there and now once again Rohan is called to uh, provide all the troops in the Rohirrim so we're on the march down to Minas Morgul and that'll be game if we really need to defend this we can I think though I might adjust the composition to include one more ranger battalion and those fucking knights I tell you <laughs> I don't want them, but they just stay there forever. Let's put some troops back up there. And Aomer can race over as quickly as possible. Likewise with Aragorn, as quickly as possible. He can come back to Gondor, actually. The king is returning. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> this might be a problem. Nope, no problem. Um what what have they got? Three mama kill. And this is what dead marshes? Wait, do I want to fight in the Dead Marshes? Which one's that? That's the six player map that's quite big. And there'll be elves and men against a shitload of Mordor, but we have a really good squad. We have Boromir's Horn, and the elves will be able to build some forces, so let's do it. Ooh! Feeling stiff. Yes, yes, that is their name. I must have a million command points. I mean power points right now. Let's have a look. 114. <laughs> I think that's enough to buy everything. All the important stuff. <laughs> Men of Jondor. Yeah, right out. Oh, this is Dead Marshes. I thought this was called Dagalat. What the hell's Dagalat then? I hope I'm going the right direction. Because I don't actually know. It would be embarrassing if I lost my fortress. I think they're on that one, but it's so hard to know. I don't want to lose. I really don't want to lose, so I better just defend the fortress. I think my spot is actually here, <laughs> not over here in the corner. Whoops. When do you get that level 5? You might get level 5 if we get into a battle. There they are. Okay, time to go. They're over here. Wasn't this upgraded? Or is that them? Or is that just a spot on my screen? It's a spot on my screen. Ooh. Um, we'll go for tower. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh dear. But come on, 
let's let's hurry up. We want to save the elves, not get Mordor building shit. How's Helia doing? <laughs> Level seven. Uh, where? Yes, perfect. Fucking perfect. is down. Okay, now you need to run, actually. Annoying. Super duper, and now their builders will be running back here, I imagine. I imagine. I said, I imagine. <laughs> wow, red is almighty screwed. do. There we go. Oh, the base is actually here. That's insane. great if Boromir would get that level. That's what I want. I know where they are. Thank you. ready for no let's do a little flank here go 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 oh no you run away you blow that you run away because I don't want to lose you Shit! I lost a unit. Can we replace it? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh well. I probably would have lost more units if I had pressed auto resolve you know I would have where are these guys going is there another lumber camp is there another builder somewhere oh hello goodbye <laughs> So what's Dagolad if that was Dead Marshes? What 
am I thinking of? Oh, dang, yeah, I had these two mixed up. Um, so, Theoden has no... Has, is missing rangers. And Boromir is missing tower guards, so let's give Boromir the opportunity to go in. And Aragorn can come and save Gondor. You can come in here as quickly as possible. And that, pre assuming we can defend these two places, will be that. So if Shaku attacks up here, we might actually have one more round. Oh, this is going to be tough, actually. Can we send him back, maybe? Can we get some troops? How can we do that? Where can I steal some rangers from? There are none. Okay, let's just... Oh, there's some being built, that's something. So it could be game over if we win in Minas Morgul, or we may have to fight again. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap out rangers. Well, I'm going to give Theoden his rangers. And Boromir is going to leave rangers behind. And pick up tower guards. So this way, Boromir can just go order resolve, because Minas Morgul is fucking hard to lay siege to. So this way I can click auto resolve and the tower guards will do all the work. And this way I can do fight an actual battle with Athelion Rangers and Theoden who has the leadership bonus. Um, and just in case Aemo has to get back into into Dol Guldur, we'll send him into Fangorn and go. Yes, easy. This one should be okay. This one will be annoying, so I won't do it. This one is ours. That's game. Thanks for joining me for this fucking epic adventure. Unless I really want to fight this on foot, I'm not going to. I might just press this button, or even this button. GG. Ugh. I can't wait to read the stats on this. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you for this success message. Let's just press the button. Skip. Okay, units. Climbing, 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 climbing. Structures. I kept it pretty low until the end there. Territories, ditto. Yeah, slow ascendancy. Trying to help the elves. Five hours in real-time strategy. Yeah, I can believe that. <laughs> Four hours of talking to you guys in the other one, the other part. Fortress is built 26. Kill death ratio ends up 10.58. Units created 3,000. Units lost pretty much exactly the same. That's weird. That's insane that that number is so close. Units killed 34,500 units in this game. And that was what? Most of that was at Helm's Deep and Rivendell. <laughs> 93 killed in the auto resolve battle. <laughs> Hardly any. <laughs> Jesus. And that's the game. That was a lot of fun. You know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to just do this again. Because I love doing it. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions or comments about things that I did or strategies or what I should have done, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye.